Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I want to talk to you about the right arm. The right arm in the golf swing is a complex subject, not really, when you understand what its job is. I think the right arm gets compromised, which causes quite a few errors uh, in how you see your golf swing. The right arm, ultimately, if you're a right-handed golfer, will be one of the, out of the two hands, the one that you feel is, wants to control the club face. And why shouldn't you? One of the things that I remember way back in the day, I was working with Steve Ban, uh, Australian coach, worked with people like Stuart Appleby, KJ Choi, um, a, a great environment to, to learn in as a player. I remember vividly a lesson him saying to me, so why don't you hit golf balls with your right arm? And I thought, well, I've been told that I can't use my right arm, can't use my right side. And it was like this groundbreaking moment where he said, well, just take the golf club and just hit some shots right-handed and just, just see how you get on. And so there I go, I, I take the golf club, I start swing, swinging the golf club. He said, how does that feel? I said, well, he says, uh, how does that feel? And I, and I said, well, it gives me freedom. But he said, well, brilliant. And so it kind of went on from there. I'm not going to bore you with more of the story. But the right side of the body is very much something that people have always refrained from. You hear it all the time. Don't want my right shoulder coming over the top. Want to trap my right arm back and in. The right arm is a real ingredient that can give you so much energy and so much power if used appropriately. So <clears throat> I'm just going to hit some shots here and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to play around with my right hand grip. <laughs> I know, oh God, he's back to his grip again. You need to really wake up and smell the coffee if that was your reaction because if you still think, oh, he's talking about grip again and it's, it's getting a bit boring, you need to understand the power of this thing and what it influences. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my right hand sit underneath the golf club and I'm going to make some right arm swings. And, and what we should start to see is all of a sudden this golf ball is, is bending away to the left. If we just remember to keep an eye on the path, the path seems to be really quite straight there, doesn't it? That one was a little bit to the right, that just changed the way my arm worked. But the path was, path was straight. Then I'm gonna move my right hand on top of the golf club, and I'm gonna get the V point outside my left shoulder. And then I start making, making some swings. And again, right hand is on top. Wow, all of a sudden I've swung across the back of the golf ball. <laughs> wow. How odd that was. So again, still, still with my weak grip, my right hand, five and a half degrees open. Then I'm gonna change my right hand back, gonna move it back underneath and make another swing. Again, just changing the hand around and all of a sudden the path starts to change itself, itself again. Now, of course, as soon as I feel my hold change, face changes and my arm is going to react slightly different. That's your drill. That's one of the things you want to start to have a little practice with. Then I, what I want you to do is I want you to appreciate how this right arm needs to function in a backswing. Let's break down what the purpose of this right arm is. The purpose of this right arm is, is in a backswing is to bend, is to break. Because the right arm can't stay straight in a backswing the right arm has to have fold. Now, as the arm folds, it could fold inwards and it could fold outwards. Now the outwards fold, and I'm gonna just lift my arm up because in a backswing we have arm lift, and then we have some rotation of the forearm, and then we have some change in structure with, with the grip, and I hate that word structure. Uh, <laughs> we have some change in position, I equally hate that, that word because it's again, feels so restricted. But
But um, the point is, is that when the arm externally rotates and the arm lifts, they're two movement patterns that a golfer will kind of shy away from, certainly the external rotation of the right forearm. Because the external rotation of the right forearm, if done inappropriately, all of a sudden makes this golf club swing inside, which is what a lot of golfers are trying to stop working. Now, if you haven't seen it, my um, videos on the grip, videos on the takeaway and how we use the pressures through the, through the handle, that's a vital um, video for you to go watch. When we then understand that we can move this golf club away and then we can still create external rotation of the right forearm and you wanna, if you can, just hold your arm up in front of you and move it to the side. You need a little bit, you need to be in the region of about 15 degrees of external rotation to give you the best possible chance. Most people have got that range of motion. If you haven't, just do a little bit of stretching and work on your right shoulder and your right arm to allow that to, to happen. Therefore, the right arm lifts, it externally rotates, which makes the shaft that point down, and then the club moves around us. And, and now when you get to the top, this right elbow starts to sit a little bit more underneath the hand of the, of, on the golf club. Tucking the elbow in, trying to deal with the elbow, is really a, a, a symptom of how that arm is working. Great little drill for you to, to start to change the way your right arm feels. Lift your arm up, put your hand underneath it. And if you get your hand and actually bend it back on itself and put it by, by the elbow, now what this left hand's job is, is to keep the elbow in front of the chest. So now as I make a backswing, now I can lift the club, I can externally rotate the forearm and then make a backswing and now all of a sudden I can start to get the golf club, the shaft pitching on the same angle as the shaft is set at address. And there's a few reasons for that which will come in a later video. So after you've hit some shots, just grabbing the club in your right hand and swinging away, after you've done that for a little while, then be a little bit more uh, detailed. Left hand underneath the right elbow. Grip the golf club with your right hand in your usual way and then start to hit some shots without that left hand changing and moving. And you'll be able to see how the upper body works because if you get to a point in the backswing where you can't go any further, well, you need to increase a little bit of arm lift or you need to increase a little bit more hip turn. And you'll start to feel like you can make fuller back swings whilst keeping that left arm still in place. All of a sudden, because of the way that arm works, you'll start to feel and see the path track a little bit more inside and you'll start to feel the face close to path if your right hand grip is correct. So that's a little insight into the right hand. It's quite a big topic, that one, but that's gonna get you going. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do share, like, and subscribe while you're here. And I look forward to seeing you next time.